Hello and welcome, my name is Dr. K. In today's video, we will take a look at three gait deviations specific to the ankle and foot complex as a compensation from the ipsilateral knee, ipsilateral hip, or a contralateral lower extremity dysfunction. Let's get into it. The first gait deviation that we will observe here is vaulting. Vaulting is a compensatory mechanism demonstrated by excessive plantar flexion of the lower extremity during mid stance. Let's take a look. Here we observe excessive vertical movement of the body. The typical impairment here is any impairment of the contralateral lower extremity that reduces hip flexion, knee flexion, or ankle dorsiflexion during the swing phase of the gait. Vaulting is a strategy used to allow the foot of a functionally long contralateral lower extremity to clear the ground during the swing phase of the gait. The next gait deviation that we will observe is towing out. Towing out is excessive foot angle during the stance phase of the gait. The likely impairment here is retroversion of the neck of the femur. Can also be associated with tight hip external rotators. Here, the foot is in excessive towing out because of excessive external rotation of the lower extremity. The next gait deviation that we will observe is towing in. Towing in is typically associated with reduced foot angle during the stance phase of the gait. Let's take a look. Here, the likely impairment is excessive femoral antiversion. It can also be associated with spasticity of hip adductors and or spasticity of hip internal rotators. Here we observe general internal rotation of the lower extremity. 